Hi everyone, it's Andrea. Welcome back to the channel. We're going to do a colouring chat tonight and we're going to be using uh, the polychromos and possibly the black widows. And we're going to be colouring in Halloween Darlings uh, by Deborah Muller. I haven't coloured in this one, this one I bought this month. So we're going to be colouring the Bride of Frankenstein. We probably will use some glitter on things like the stars and the skulls and possibly obviously the lightning bolts and the electricity so we're going to start with a light base of um, just very light flesh over her before we start doing anything so before we get started this is an adult channel and the videos are made for adults and are knowing in any way shape or form intended for made for children let's get that out of the way i want to say hello to all my um new subscribers thank you for joining me if you're new and if you've been here for a while thank you for coming back on the subject of the subscribers to those of you who <clears throat> sorry i have to have a drink congratulated me on a thousand subscribers thank you as you can see it's dropped back down to under a thousand at the moment I'm not even gonna start I'm not even gonna bother looking anymore because I take it a bit personally when people unsubscribe and I totally guess get why they do not everybody's into coloring some of the previous subscribers have been because of Marilyn or because I was doing booktube so I completely get that I unsubscribe from people it's just one of those things that goes with the territory so I'm gonna try not to look and I'm not gonna worry about it <laughs> I'm going to try not to worry about it anyway. So, but thank you anyway. I'm sure I will get there and it will stay above 1,000 at some point. Just got to wait for it to happen. Now, if there are any colourists out there watching who want to do a buddy colour along in November, I'm happy with that. You can pick any of the books that I've got if you've got them. I have got quite a lot, over 200. I've got over 80 Jade Summer. We could do one in that. Um, if you're not a YouTuber and you want to do a buddy colour and long, um, just let me know. We can still do it. You can um, uh, post uh, the pictures in the Andrea's Attic Colouring Group on on Facebook or on. Uh, you can post it on in Instagram and just hashtag it. Hashtag it. Um, Andrea's Attic Colour Along. Let me know if you're interested in that and what kind of book you would like to, to colour in. We can colour in anything. Uh, November for me is a free for all. I can colour in anything I've already coloured in. Um, I have been trying to colour in the books I haven't coloured in before. Um, but I'm getting frustrated because there are things I want to colour that I haven't done for a while because of trying to co only colour the new stuff. So for instance I was watching a video today and somebody was showing picture of just showing Serene by Nick Filbert and they were showing what they'd done in it and I've only done one picture in that book and I, I've been wanting to do a picture for a while in that book so I actually pulled pulled it out and I've actually already started doing something in it because I really wanted to. Um, it's something I'm going to take a long time to do. I'm not going to just rush it because I've got an idea of what I want it to look like. So I really want to make sure that it, it goes the way I want it to. So I'm not going to really rush, rush it. Because I really want to make sure that it goes, it looks the way I want it to look, which is, um, there's a particular way, you'll see when you finally see it. So I'm just going to keep her very pale because she's dead. I might even give her a tinge of green as well. Yeah. Uh, what green shall we use? I'm actually thinking this sort of colour here. What's this? earth green it's not a very green color it's more of a um, very pale um yeah so if you want to do a color along let me know i'd be happy to it'd be fun 
to wool shirt and then I'll, what I'll do is I'll put, if, if enough people do it I'll put a, a video of all the pictures that we've all done together in, in a video and we can have a look. Which will be great. So I've not done any buddy or colour alongs but it'll be nice so you know you can pick. I've got all the Hannah Carlson books except for spirit animals and I've got three of the Maria Trillet books. I've got one, I've got Tentacle Enchantments, I've got all of the Kirby Rosannas if you want to do that one. Just take a look at either at a recent haul or um, last year's completed um, complete colouring book collection and then the hauls I've done since if you want to. If you want Jade Summer just look at the complete Jade Summer books collection. We can do a picture in one of those, we could do a Christmas picture, we could do a Thanksgiving picture that we don't celebrate it in the UK, If we could do something like that. I don't mind. Because um, I'm aware most of, most of the people who watch are in America and it'll be fun. So let me know if you are up for doing a bit of a buddy colour along, you know, with me. And then we'll, we'll hashtag it Andrea, Andrea's at it colour along 2020 or something like that on Instagram I'll download your pictures and I'll stick them in a video put a bit of free music on the background which I've not actually done yet but I could certainly would not be a problem and we can uh, see what I think so she's got a bit of green on it it doesn't really show up very well on the camera it shows up better on the I don't know if you see it. she's a bit pinky green I'll blend that in uh, later with a blender. I don't think I've got a blender in here, have I? Oh, I have. Let's see if we can blend it in. Yeah, that's better. Jennifer's fine. We're all fine here. Um, been using our new turntable which is awesome. I don't know when we got, I can't remember when we got that now but it is amazing. Last week I think. It's difficult, we have to wait for Jen to go to bed because she would try and you know play with it and touch it and she, we don't want her breaking it, she doesn't understand yet which is understandable, she's only two and a half just gone and then we'll, um, that looks a bit better. Just uh, see what's happening with it. Uh, so I do hope you're all staying safe. We're still in a uh, semi-lockdown here in um, the UK. In in Wales, um, there's a fair bit of Wales in lockdown at the moment. Not all of it, granted, but there is a fair bit of it. And uh, so we just have absolutely no idea when these restrictions are going to be lifted. Because it's just the, the cases, although they're dropping a bit now, just seem to rise every time there's a change. So. I can't see it changing anytime soon. They're talking about a two or four week, they're calling it a circuit breaker, so try and get rates to, to drop a bit to give the NHS chance to catch up because the cases in the hospital are going up again, which is a, a shame. But, I mean, I'm being as careful as I can. 
everybody I know is being careful. So it's just a matter now of looking after yourself, being responsible and respectful to other people. What have I been up to this week? Well, I've been trying to vlog. The vlog is going to be very dull, I'm afraid. Um, you'll be seeing this on Saturday. I haven't actually done a lot of vlogging. It's mostly me chatting about things like uh, books and Jennifer and what I'm hoping is going to be happening. And, uh, like, for instance, um, I'm having a light put in my shed, my eBay shed, so hopefully that'll be sorted and I'll tell you all, I'm telling you all about that. Um, I'll tell you about the books I'm reading, uh, what I'm so old, you know, the usual stuff, but I um, haven't been out anywhere this week. It's compared to last week when, of course, I was on annual leave and I was out and about running around doing things. Um, this week I have not had any chance to do anything, so I've been playing with Jennifer and colouring a lot, reading a lot. I, so I'm not colouring as much as I have been because I've been, I've actually been reading my book. I've read three books this week. Granted they're not very long books and they're on, the, on my phone, they're e-books. I've been reading on the Kindle app on my phone. I do have a Kindle, but it's not got backlight so I tend to read my phone at night. So that's, that's been good, I've enjoyed that, that I've been uh, able to do that and um, yeah it's been amazing really to be able to read so much. I've got a book that I pre-ordered has now been dispatched which is Photos of the Abyss by Andrew Firth which takes the, I'm not sure when they were taken, photos taken by Jack London of the East End and the Ripper locations and superimposes them over the same locations as they are now, as they are today, much like Ripperland did. So I pre-ordered this book um, back in August, end of August I pre-ordered it and it's been printed now and the first edition, the one I've got is signed, or it should be. It has been dispatched, I've had a dispatch note, so it might come tomorrow, it might come next week, depends on the post office. I don't mind, as long as I get it, I'd be happy. But I am going to be devouring that book. So I'm still reading Jack the Ripper, the 21st Century um, Investigation. I've got so far as Catherine Eddowes. So I'm working my way through the victims. A bit at a time, I'll probably read a bit more of that tonight when I've done this video. And then after that, I'm going to be reading a book called Time with Norma Jean, which is about a time, it's a time travel story where a modern girl time travels back to 1953-54 and spends some time with Marilyn, which sounds interesting. So I've also got a new book on Marilyn, which is uh, The Last Interview and Other Conversations, which reprints uh, magazine articles from the 50s and early 60s. I think there's four or five. I've only so far read read the introduction, which is fine. I've not got a problem with that. Uh, it was very respectfully written, so look for more on that later. So that's another one I've got. But I do want to get down the book The Princes in the Tower and read that one. So that's about uh, the nephews of King Richard III and whether or not he killed them. Some people say yes, some people say no. I actually don't know. I personally like Jodie Taylor's take on it, if you haven't read any of Judy Taylor's books I suggest you go and start with just one damned thing after another. It is a time travel uh, story but we don't call it time travel it's called it investigating historical fence in contemporary time. So they actually investigate historical events in that time frame so um, yeah So they are very, very funny, funny books, I must admit. I really, really enjoy them. So I've got the, she's done a, a spin-off series um, on an entity in the books which is called the Time Police, who police the timeline. Um, I haven't uh, read them, I've got the audiobooks, but I haven't actually listened to them yet, so I might 
I have to get some headphones because Paul's pinched my headphones. So. At the moment I've got another audiobook I want to finish, but I haven't got my headphones, so downstairs. Because when Jennifer's home and she wants to watch TV in the afternoon, um, he puts his headphones on and listens to music. Because he can't, he gets sick of children's TV. And I really can't say that I blame him. It's very, very annoying. <laughs> when, when you've seen <clears throat> the same episode of Peter Rabbit 20 times in a row, you're like sick of it, but you know, kids. She also has got a thing at the moment for the Muppets version of Bohemian Rhapsody. All she wants is that, and she goes, Mama, please. Mama, more Mama, please. And it's like, okay, put it on. And then she'll watch a couple of things after it, and then I'll be, Mama, please, more Mama. And you're like, all right. <laughs> the latest obsession is the Muppets um, Bohemian Rhapsody. It's funny, granted, but again, if you've seen it 10 times in one evening, <laughs> It's a bit draining, but she loves it. She likes music in general, to be fair. I've got to be honest, she is a very, very musical person. She loves it. So she'll sit there and watch all the Disney videos that come on, like Moana, and which I've not seen, but actually seeing the clips of it, I actually want to go and watch the film now. <laughs> and Frozen, that one's never really appealed to me, but again, it's starting to intrigue me now. I've got it. I've got it on DVD because we bought, bought a load of Disney DVDs for Jen and we've not watched them yet. Oh, but we will. Oh, this is amazing. I love this book. I've got so many colouring books. It's, I've got to stop buying them. But then I see something else I want. Like this week's The Jade Summer book that they've brought out is 100 Easy Patterns and Mandalas. Well, I've got the Easy Mandala book. I don't want it again. So I won't be buying that. If it was just the Easy Patterns, I probably would have bought it. But no, it's another one I don't have to worry about. I'm not going to buy duplicates like that. I won't even buy duplicates of the grayscale, so. go her hair looks good i like the um the little gravestones r.i.p i'm a gonna bye see you later i think it's quite a oh i'm getting stiff fun little picture uh, you know halloween and all so what are your plans for halloween are you allowed to do anything we are not supposed to do anything because of course of the spread of the pan you know the illness um i don't know i'm i'm i can understand that you don't want to give kids sweeties and you don't want people coming door to door and knocking because of the uh, potential risks so and if we have this two or four week lockdown it's going to be a bit um a bit interesting sales might go up again well they're talking about doing a two-week one in England. I don't know if these lockdowns actually work. It does stem the flow and helps the health services, which is the point more than anything else. But I don't know if it's... I mean, obviously, when you go back out, it spreads again. So we could be in this situation for the next two or three years until they find some kind of vaccine or it just works its way out. I mean, who knows? Till it mutates to a point where it's no longer dangerous. You don't know what it's going to do. So... Well, as you know, I like to keep these videos under around the 40-minute mark. So that's what I'm going to aim for tonight. Um, we're heading up to half of that already and we have hardly done anything but it, you know when you colour in I don't want to rush it I want to do it properly if I was going to just rush it I'd do it with markers and I you know I've done marker videos and I like doing markers and I could still spend 40 minutes with them um, but you don't want to see me colouring markers all the time you want to see me use pencils and see how I work them and what we're doing with them that's the whole point it's not a tutorial but 
you can see how I, I get things to look the way they do and you know I'm, and with this I'm just layering at the moment till I get it uh, to the shade I want and then I'll probably you know the depth I want and then I'll, I'll go in and do a different colour as well so and that's the thing with polychromos you have to layer them you could go in and burnish it but then you can't do any extra bits <clears throat> and they will layer and layer and layer they are very good pencils for layering I'll give you that sorry I'm really getting cramps I've got to move um they are very very good pencils for layering I will admit that as you can see I'm just putting layer after layer on till I get the the shade I want but I can still put more colours on there I don't use my polychromos enough I don't think I don't give them enough of love probably because they're the most expensive pencil I've currently got I'm not saying that they will always remain that way because if I can ever afford the whole binds I would get them I can't at the moment I'm being realistic but you never know one day we might be able to afford them now that would be amazing I know it's easier and cheaper to order them off of Amazon Japan but uh, it's not easier but it's cheaper but at the moment these are the most expensive pencils I've got so I am careful the only good thing about these is they are open stock I can go to Hobbycraft when, uh, when I'm allowed to travel because it's in a different county and they're in lockdown as well and I can go to Hobbycraft and go to their pencil. I haven't been there for ages. I love Hobbycraft. <gasps> and I can buy the individual pencils. Obviously, there's no shipping then if I, I go and get them myself. They do sell some colouring books and they sell, um, I believe they sell a complete range of polychromos because I got a, quite a few open stock before I bought them. That's how I knew I liked them. I got the the um, uh, Caucasian flesh tones, the peaches and that, and the creams, and uh, some of the greens and a couple of reds. And then I decided, oh yes, I do like these. So I will get them. I'm just gonna tip that one that way and we'll use this, is this, this one? What one's this? Crimson, yeah, I'll put a bit of this red in. I need to empty my sharpener in a minute. It's getting a bit full. Um, yeah, that's, that's it. That's going to finish it off and make it the right colour for her hair. So we, uh, yeah, I do like going there. They sell, obviously, glitter gel pens I've had from there. Uh, like I said, colouring books, all sorts of art supplies and craft. It's a fantastic place to get stuff. And... Uh, I really, I really do like it. I love Hobbycraft. I haven't been there for so long though. I haven't been there since I've had Jennifer for over two years because it's a uh, hassle. I will take her there soon because I think she'll love it. Once we're allowed, I think we'll nip to Newport and <clears throat> go to Hobbycraft. On the Cardiff Road, so I sell all sorts of stuff there. I put loads of stuff there in the past. Like I said, a full, full few extra polychromos. They're not in here. They're actually in with my Faber Castell Classic pencils. Um, they, they'll obviously be moved at some point when I, I need them. But I am glad we can get those easily open stock. Now, Prisma colours I can order from various art supply shops um, in the UK. But every time I look, the colours I want are out of stock. So I'm an understandable at the moment, so I'm not worrying about it. I'm using my Prisma colours on my Johanna Basford calendar. I'm still on January at the moment. 
because it's taking me for a, a forever. I might do some tomorrow. I might set up, get Jennifer some colouring stuff out and we'll do some colouring. I don't really want to tomorrow because the weather's supposed to be nice and then it's supposed to be nasty from Monday. It's supposed to be raining. I'd rather save the colouring for when it's horrible. But she does love to paint, you know, but she does make a hell of a mess. But uh, I could set her up to paint, clear the table so she can paint on one side and I can colour on the other side and keeps her quiet for a bit. She'll, she'll paint, sit and paint for hours. We said that in nursery, how amazing, her, how concentrate she does and how she, she is unlike the other children who get distracted and go off and do something else, she will just sit there and paint for ages if you let her. And I've noticed that she just wants to keep painting once you get the paint out. It does make a mess but we've got a vinyl tablecloth so it's very easy to just wipe the paint off. So, yeah, been a long week and I didn't work Monday and I've got next Friday off as well. I've got five days left, so I've booked them off now. I've got a long weekend in November, a long weekend in December and uh, two days before Christmas. It's quiet over Christmas anyway, so I have to work downstairs because Jennifer will be home probably. I think the nursery's shut. I'll have to check. It's understandable, all the staff need to time off. Her old nursery didn't shut, that's the only thing. So, yeah. so as you can see, I mean, the layer is still layering. I can still layer it, it's still not blooming. I can still layer it really well to, to give it the different texture and shades I want, which is really nice. Not all pencils will do that. Another reason I don't always use the polychromos on videos is I know how expensive they are and I know not everybody can afford to buy them. Um, I was lucky. I actually got mine in the Black Friday sale uh, a couple of years ago. And that's how little I use them because it wasn't last, I think it was, before, it was before I had Jennifer. So it was probably three years ago now. And I remember I was looking at them and I saw that they were on offer for £120, I think in the Black Friday sale, so they were they were cheaper. And I thought I'm having them. And I transferred the money out of my savings account because they were so much cheaper. And I'm glad I did, because they are lovely. But I don't use them very often. I should use them more often. Um, I always try and get my pencils when they're on offer if I can. So for instance, the Prismacolor Premiers were on sale for, when I got mine, uh, the 150 set were £88, which is really, really cheap. And I didn't, they didn't actually cost me anything because I had a bonus from work because we had, they had an incentive for doing some overtime, whereas you did so much so many emails and they gave you a pound voucher for every email well I cleared about 90 so I had more than enough money to pay for my pencils with that money so they didn't actually cost me anything because I still got my overtime rate on top of it it was a bonus company is good for that I'm, I'll give them that they're a great company to work for they must be good because I've been there nearly 10 years 10 years next year um, and then 2022 if I'm still there then it'll be 10 years directly employed so then I'll get a long service award if I'm still there if I hope I will be but it depends on the working arrangements because of Jennifer being at school um I want a gray now just a very light gray so because obviously these bits are really going to be white I'm just going to give them a bit of definition just so that there's something in there so they're not totally bright white there's a bit of off colourness to them and again they're just this is the the lightest grey I think well, well it's not the lightest but it is quite light when it is a warm grey too so there we go so it's just to give it a bit of colour in her streaks. It's 
going to turn off in a minute which means we're at 30 minutes and we've done her hair and her skin and we still haven't quite finished her hair so now we're going to go in with a little bit of black it turned off so we've done 30 minutes so it's got the black here and all I'm going to do is just go around here around her hairline just to give it a little bit of a more natural definition because that is a very harsh line As you can see, she's given that little bit of smudge. I'll put a little bit more in her, in here. There we go. So hair done. Right. So we will give her some bright red lippies. So a sort of orangey red colour, which is deep red. It says it's deep red. And I'm just going to do her lips now. Like this. Just a little dark a bit. So, looking good. I like her. We might give her a red dress as well, I think, just because I like red. Now I'm going to get another red here, which is a slightly, yeah, this one, is it? Permanent carmine, yeah. I'm just going to give it a nice sharp, sharpen, and I'm actually going to give her some lines red lines in her eyes like this so just to make her look a little bit bloodshot like that because you know she would be a bit of red in the corner everybody has a little tiny bit of red in the corner of their eyes if you have a look so I just do that so she's a bit bloodshot I'll do her pupils so we get the black back. You've got to remember she's not meant to look alive. Then, so we're going to use green which is called uh, May Green like so I'm going to go in with a bit of an olive what colour is this? Green gold, actually, yeah, I like this colour. Oh. And then this one. If you look at your eyes, they're not all one colour. Although they might be, you might have blue eyes. They're not all one shade, there's different pigmentation in it, so and it'll sort of like the outside 
will be slightly darker than the inside and there will be flecks in it as well. I love doing eyes. A bit more of this green gold, I think, just to give it a. That's it. Come back with that one again. And there are eyes. All done. They look good. Yes, I am going to go with red. I'll go with the. Um, the deep red we did her lips in because that's a nice colour and then we can put a dark, oh deep scarlet we'll use. Yeah deep scarlet, that's the colour I meant, yeah. Because then we can use the other red on it, whichever one it was, I don't know. There's dark red, what's this one? Deep red, yeah. Then we can use deep red on it or we can use the dark carmine on it. And uh, we can give her some trim as well. It's all, it's all going to look good. It's all good. I don't want to just leave it just having done just the skin and just her hair. Because uh, that's not actually a lot. She's all got a kind of Jessica Rabbit shape going on, hasn't she? Can you see? When I've done this, I'm going to sit and colour in uh, Sabine, carry on doing what I was doing in there. i got tons of whips on the go. I just want to do the base because what I'm doing is a marker base and then I'm going to use lots of um, marker pencils over the top. So I have started the marker base. I just want to do the marker base today. And then tomorrow I'll be back to doing my Halloween pictures because I've got one, two, Three, four, and this one. So five on the go, I think. And of course the Johanna Basford cal calendar, which is down for That's fine, because we've still got a couple of weeks there. Two full weeks left of uh, October, which is great. Plenty of time to do more. I love colouring. It's, I never thought when I started how much I would really become, uh, find it, a thing I need to do. It keeps me calm, it keeps me centred, it keeps my anxiety away because I do get very anxious and when I get an when I get anxiety I get very ill I and my stomach hurts, um, I get bad, you know, I need to go to the bathroom a lot, to put it bluntly, I, I do. Um, my head aches and it's, it's horrible and I find if I could just sit and colour for a couple of hours before bed or an hour before bed or even half an hour, I start feeling better. The anxiety goes away. Um, and that's what I need. It's like I, I do this and I feel so relaxed and my mind's off of everything I've been worrying about today. So like obviously going back to work, I always get anxiety after a holiday. Um, Jennifer going back to nursery makes me anxious. So, you know, if Paul's not well, his mother's just moved, so I'm worried about his mum. Because she's in her 70s. And, you know, and I worry about my parents and my brothers who are living in New Zealand. Um, this will be the first Christmas since, Christmas since Christopher moved over there that he hasn't been home. And that's like 10 years, so it's the first time in 10 years we won't have seen him for Christmas because of what's going on in the world. Um, the main reason I want it to be over is so that he can come home for a visit, which he will when he can. Um, it's a, a very difficult journey now because he work, Air New Zealand, who he works for, doesn't do the flights anymore, especially at the moment. He would have to fly with three separate companies, so it would be a prohibitive cost that way. He would also then need to self-isolate when he got here for a fortnight, and he's only here for four weeks. And then when he got back, 
he'd need to self-isolate over there and over in New Zealand they self-isolate in a hotel of the government's choice because they found that people weren't actually following the rules they were breaking the self-isolation rules so they brought it in that the government chooses a hotel and you have to stay there and that can cost around three thousand New Zealand dollars which is a lot of money so it's not financially viable. However, hopefully, because New Zealand seems to be doing better, he should be able to go over to Wahiki Island, which is just off the coast of Auckland, which is where my older brother, Richard, and his family live. Although um, his daughter lives in Auckland now, my niece, and he usually is working in um, Africa, but he's obviously not there at the moment. He wants to get back there. He loves it out there because um, his business is there, but he's got people running it that are very very capable so it's all right but still um so chris will go over to um the island for christmas lunch so for christmas he'll stay over for a bit which will be nice at least he won't be on his own he's solitary it probably wouldn't bother him that much but you know it's hard christmas without your family is hard so at least he's got somebody to go to which is the main thing um I've got Paul and Jennifer. I'm hoping that they'll allow um, some mixing at Christmas because Paul's mum's on her own and normally she comes to us for Christmas and then when she goes, we go to my mum's in the evening. Now, my mum and dad said they, as long as we, they speak to us, they don't mind if we don't go over Christmas Day so we can spend longer with Sally. Um, but... We, we don't know what's happening yet. We'll go over and see them on Boxing Day. Normally we'd go over on Boxing Day because Boxing Day is Christopher's birthday. So we normally go over Christmas Day and Boxing Day. But because of, of this, we'll just probably go over Boxing Day and have a second Christmas Day and do presents and have turkey and chips. But it'll be weird without Chris. It will be because uh, normally uh, one Wednesday in uh, December I take him to Bristol to see his pensions advisor at Aztec West. It'll be the first year for a long time that that hasn't happened and I enjoy that. I mean last year I, I took uh, a colouring book and some markers. Um, I think it was the, I think I took the super tips. Yeah I did, I was doing something that Anne from A Colourful Life had suggested doing and um I sat in Starbucks with a cup of tea, first of all, and, and, and a, a piece of lemon cake. And I sat there and I just coloured when I finished my tea. I, I left my stuff on the, the table, went to the bathroom, um, my colouring stuff, and I went and I got a hot chocolate. And when I finished the hot chocolate, I left, went back to the car and just waited for Chris. He wasn't that long then. Yeah, it's going to be so weird without him. Yeah, the one year we went on a Monday, it's usually a Wednesday, one year we went on a Monday and it was the first day that there were no tolls on Seven Bridge. <laughs> and we were like, yay, it's free to get home, it doesn't cost anything. It was very exciting. <laughs> so, yeah, we enjoyed it, we had fun. We've been going 43 minutes, but I'm going to try and do a bit more. We haven't done a lot, I will admit, because I haven't been colouring very, very fast. I've just been doing it. I want it to look nice, so that's why I'm taking my time. And like I said, I'll probably use um, glitter gel pen on the bolts of lightning, on the stars, on the skulls and things like that. So all the stuff up in the air here will be done with glitter sub gel pen so that won't take too long I think there'll be three episodes probably if you don't mind but yeah it's because polychromos do take a while to use because you've just got to layer them to get the the pigmentation you want as you can see it is taking a while. I'll go up for a little bit longer. And my battery's about to go. So what I'll do is I'll call it a day there. I'll just show you what we've done. As you can see, not much. We've done her hair. And we've done her face and her skin. I haven't done her tattoos or her her um, um, 
bandages yet and we've started her dress. All that will happen is I'll put this um, face in the opposite direction in my pencil case so I know which colour I'm using. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please please give it a thumbs up. Leave me a nice comment down below if you want to do a buddy colour along next month and I'll see you in the next video. So bye everybody. Bye.